Hello friends, this video on structure of Adam part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 24. So we have studied the dual nature of uh, matter. So in 1925, this guy D. Broglio, he proposed that matter like radiations also exhibit dual behavior. That means just as the photon we have seen has momentum as well as wavelength, we have seen this right, photon has momentum as well as wavelength, electron also has momentum as well as wavelength. Why momentum? Because of the particle nature and why wavelength? Because of the wave nature. Correct? So my electron will also have momentum as wavelength and the wavelength will be h by mv h by p. This is the relation you get. The wavelength that is associated with the ordinary objects are very short and that's why their wave property is not detected because the wavelength is very short. And the wavelength with the electrons and other subatomic particles with very small mass can however be detected experimentally. Please note that the mass is very small right the wavelength can easily be detected experimentally in this case the mass was more so the mass was more so the wavelength is very less so it is because you see the wavelength is inversely proportional to mass so here the mass is more the wavelength is very less mass is less the wavelength is more so they can be detected experimentally we'll take some examples on this wave nature or dual nature so what will be the wavelength of a ball of mass 0 0.01 kg moving at a speed of 10 meter per second. So very simple, same formula lambda is equal to h by mv, which we have learned just now. Let's apply the formula, h is Planck's constants into 10 to the power minus 34. Mass is 0.1 kg and velocity is 10 meter per second. This comes out to be 6.626 .6 into 10 to the power minus very small level. The mass of the electron is 9.1 into the minus 31 kg. If kinetic energy of this is this, find the wavelength. See, I know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. I have the mass, I have the kinetic energy, I can find velocity. I have to find wavelength, wavelength is nothing but h by mv. Since I have velocity, I can find lambda. Let's do this. So from first equation, I can say V is equal to nothing but root over 2 kinetic energy by M. Let's put the values. 2 kinetic energy is this guy. 3 into 10 to the power minus 25. Mass is this way. 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. This comes out to be 812 meter per second. I have the velocity. I have to find lambda. H is the Planck constant I know that is 6.626 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34. Mass is again 9.1 into 10 to the minus 31 and the velocity is 812. You solve this you get 8967 angstrom as your answer. That is the level. We have to calculate the mass of photon with wavelength of this. So I know the formula lambda is h by mv. So lambda is given h I know Planck's constant. I have to find the mass. I don't know the velocity. How to find the velocity? So if you see this is a photon. Photon is nothing but light. So velocity of photon is nothing but velocity of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So we define the mass. Same formula we can use. Mass is equal to nothing but h by lambda v. Let's put the value. h is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joules. Wavelength is 3.6 angstrom convert into a uh, meter. And speed v is 3 into 10 to the power 8. To solve this, you get 6.135 into 10 to the minus 29 kg, mass in kg, and that's the answer. 
we have to calculate the wavelength of electron moving with the velocity of this. So wavelength is nothing but h by mv. Very simple question. Know the value of h 6.626 into 10 power minus 34 joule second by mass is of electron I know 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg and velocity is given 2.05 into 10 to the power 7 meter per second. So you saw this you get 3.548 into 10 to the power minus 11 meters and that is my table. The mass of the electron is 9.1 into this, this we already know. If the kinetic energy is this, find its wavelength. I think we have done similar kind of questions where I know that lambda is equal to h by mv. I need to find the velocity of v, uh, value of v. v is nothing but root of 2 of kinetic energy by m. So let's find the value of v that becomes 2 into kinetic energy is 3 into 10 to the power minus 25 by m that is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 and this comes out to be 811.57. So I have the value of v, I have to find lambda, lambda is equal to h 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 by mass again I have 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 and v I have this value 811.579 right you solve this you get 8.9625 into 10 to the power minus 7 yes, and that is the answer. So as I told the Bohr's theory limitation was it could not spec um, explain the spectra of multi electron atom. So this was the limitation of Bohr model. So why? Because see in the hydrogen or hydrogen like species where the energy depends only on one quantum number n. So you can explain the spectra but for the multi electron atom it depends on other quantum numbers also n, l, ml. So we'll explain all this in the next few slides. So that's the reason why the Bohr could not explain the spectra of multi electron. Zeeman effect I told, I'll cover once again. Zeeman effect is named after the uh, physicist Zeeman. And this is nothing but the effect of splitting of spectral lines into several components in the presence of magnetic field. So if you see, so this in this case there is no magnetic field. Or here I'll start with there is no magnetic field, you get spectral line like this. The moment you have attach have a magnetic field, you see the spectral lines are split. Here also if you see uh, the only this two spectral lines, but the moment you put magnetic fields, it gets split and you see n number of magnetic lines. The same effect, stark effect is there, but that is there in presence of electric field where again the spectral lines split in the presence of electric field. These kind of things uh, Bohr could not explain. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.